What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get into this video, I just want to apologise for the noise in the background. My dishwasher is on, um, there's nothing I can do about it. It should finish in 28 minutes, so good times. Um, so as you can see, the setup behind me is a little bit different, my hair's different. Um, there's loads of new things going on. I've been gone for a while. That's what this video is about. I'm just explaining to you guys why I've been gone, what I've been up to, and new shit that you can look forward to. So before I start explaining all the fun things and getting into what I've been up to, so I'm going to explain one of the main reasons that I've been gone. So around Christmas time, um, I th on Christmas day in fact, my older sister told me that she was pregnant. She told my younger sister and I, and we were so excited. Um, we're going to be aunties for the first ever time. Um, it was super, super exciting. Um, and then as we we're getting closer and closer to the baby's due date, um, we weren't going to find out the gender till he was born, so that was really exciting. Um, guess I gave it away. <laughs> um, but unfortunately he was born 16 and a half weeks early. That's a long time in terms of baby development. He had to be taken straight to the um, like the neonatal intensive care unit. Um, and yeah, it was a, a very scary time for everyone in my family. Super, super scary. Um, so they named the baby Harrison and he is the cutest little baby I've ever seen in my life. He's so dinky. Um, literally from the first day I got to see him, I have all the love in the world for Harrison. He is adorable. After 16 days, he passed away um, due to sepsis, I believe it was. Um, he just couldn't fight any longer. He was the tiniest little thing. Um, obviously something like that is fatal to anyone who could have it. But unfortunately, he just wasn't old enough or strong enough. But um, the 16 days that he was alive were absolutely amazing and I've never seen people give such love than my family were giving Harrison it was the it was a really like touching heartwarming thing um, so obviously we've all my family and I have been grieving it's been really really difficult to come to terms with I don't think it properly hit me until his funeral um, so that's probably the biggest reason that I've been away so I'm asking you guys if you have any spare change, any spare, you know, a pound, two pound, anything like that. It would be absolutely amazing if you could donate to the charity, which I'll link below. Um, so you can read the full story from my older sister, that's like on the link. Um, yeah, so any money raised will go to helping the unit um, it could provide incubators if we raise enough money. Um, to help new babies that are born either prematurely or that are born with you know issues and they're poorly so I have about 13,000 subscribers and imagine if every single one of you guys donated like a pound it would be to you it's not a lot it's there you go there's a pound but as a big thing it would be absolutely momentous so if you have the the time the the money please do um, sponsor or donate um, however if you're not in a situation which you can which I know is really really difficult a lot of you guys may not be able to but please do share the links share this video um, just do a little post about it um, whatever we can do to help either raise awareness or raise money is absolutely fantastic so sorry to be really really like depressing and put a real downer on things but that is what's happened and um, yeah, it's been really hard. <sighs> I'm quite impressed that I didn't cry, to be honest. So, um, moving on to the more positive things, trying to enjoy life the best I can. Um, the other main reason I've been away, not actually very positive, is um, I finished university. So I had, I was in my final year, obviously, and um, that is when you get the most work. It's really, really intense. There's loads of shit to do. So I had four, three, three hand-ins over the course of two days. Um, one was physical and two were online. So I was, and one of them was a final major project, which I will be talking about, but I'll be doing that in a later video. I'm gonna do a whole experience 
video on my three years at university and what I thought of my actual course. Um, so if you're just starting uni or you're not sure whether to go to this uni or whether to take that course, that'd be a really helpful video. Once it's uploaded, I will link it below, but I haven't filmed it yet, so, and that's coming later. I'm waiting till graduation to do it. Um, yes, so I have my final major project, which is a very, very intense, difficult project to undertake. It's the biggest one that we've ever done, and it was very, very stressful. Um, I probably had it easier than other people because I chose a slightly easier project um, because personally, by this point, I was just fucking done. <laughs> nope. Um, I didn't have a very positive university experience. So yes, I was drowning in work, drowning in um, my like paid job, my paid work, and drowning in like emotional turmoil. So I have been... Um, I've not been the best while I've been away, but I am trying my best to, I don't know, feel better, feel more positive. So those are the two reasons I've been away. So now I'm gonna tell you guys what you've missed. So obviously my hair's different. Um, I'm a lot, lot shorter and I have a full fringe. For those of you OGs who've been here since the beginning, you'll remember my hair used to pretty much be like this, except I really straightened it because I'm lazy. Um, so I did used to have a full fringe and then I grew it out and then I had a side fringe and I had no fringe. Um, I get very bored easily and I always want to change my hair, so that's why. But um, A, I need to start looking more professional to get full-time work. And B, it's so hot in the UK at the moment. God knows why, but it's absolutely horrific. So I was just like, get get this hair off of my head. I have really, I used to have really long, and my hair is so thick that it is just too much. So we are sorted. <laughs> um, I will leave a link to the salon that I went to to get my hair done. They are vegan and they are cruelty free. So if you are in the south coast type area, Hampshire area, then I would 100% recommend this salon. The ladies are absolutely wonderful and um, I don't know, prices are good, it's vegan and cruelty free, so you're not going to be hurting any animals and you can look fabulous, so it's a win-win. So I'll post their link below. Um, what else is new? I have three new tattoos since I last filmed a video. Um, so the first one is on my arm here, you can kind of see it through my meshy thing. Um, so it is a cauldron with a little spooky symbol on it and all kind of things bubbling out. That was done by Aaron V at Asgard in Southampton, so I will link his Instagram below. Super, super cool and he's super good at creepy, spooky shit. So if that's what you're after, I would definitely recommend him. I think the work is absolutely amazing and the price was pretty good too. Next piece I have is... <laughs> Here, again, it's so difficult to see, I'm gonna post it. Um, so it's like a spooky hand holding a planchette and there's roses and a little beading and a bow and it's absolutely adorable. Probably my favorite tattoo at the moment, I'm obsessed with it. Um, and that was done by Aisha, who again, I will link below. She's done majority of my other tattoos. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she's done the majority of my other tattoos and she's an absolute sweetheart, so I definitely recommend her. She has moved studios from before. She's now at Ginger Tom's um, and it's lovely there. And then my last tattoo is here. She's a little whip bitch. Um, and again, this one was done by Aisha. Both, in fact, all three of these designs were um, flash, I didn't like come up with the concept, I saw them and was like I absolutely have to have that tattooed on my body right now. So yes, all of those were flash and I'm freaking obsessed. So I'm trying to fill up my little half sleeves before I move on to anything else, but um, it's very difficult because there's so many tattoos that I want and not enough money. Um, yes, so I think they're the main things that have changed. Um, like I said, my background's changed. I've almost got my flat to exactly how I want it. So once I do that, I will be doing a like gothic flat tour, which will be really, really cool. Um, I can't wait to film that for you guys. So look forward to that. And on that note, um, as I've been changing things, doing a little bit of DIY, I am filming some stuff for you guys. So there'll be like a mini DIY series coming up soon. All of it's pretty 
spooky or dark or I don't know just creepy um, so hopefully that will appeal to you guys and will be interesting for you to watch um, I really don't know what else there is to say I have a new love in my life are you ready for this this is Billy he's my life he's my child I love him he's the coolest thing I'm obsessed. I bought this from a lady on Etsy who hand makes these things. Can you believe it? Handmade. This is freaking incredible. Like if you could see in real life the detail that is, he even has the shiny red shoes. Um, yeah, so I'll link her below. However, I'm pretty sure this is the only one. I don't know if she's going to be making more, but maybe if you ask nicely, she might do. So I'll link the seller below. Um, I'm going to pop him off the screen now in case some of you are absolutely terrified. But yeah, so Billy is the new love of my life. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that pretty much sums it up. Um, I've been gone because I've been going through a really horrible time lately with my, not family life, because it's not, like I've not fallen out with my family, it's not anything to do with that. Just going through grief basically and it's been really, really horrible. And then I've been overloaded with uni work too but the uni work is done, it's out of the way, I've completely finished, so now I have more time to film videos, so I have something more positive to put my attention to and to enjoy doing. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for sticking around while I just <laughs> disappeared off of the internet. Um, and for those of you who stayed subscribed, thank you so much. For those new subscribers, hey, what's up? How's it going? Why am I so freaking awkward? <laughs> um, right. Um, I've literally forgotten how I end my videos. Fuck. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.